WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently got most of the indices trading the upside. The Dow is off 27 and the Dow Transport's down 31. Otherwise, you got the S&P up 10, the NASDAQ 197, the Russell's up 4, semis are up 20. Spot Politics is below its 50-day exponential moving average. We'll watch that. I believe the 50 days at 1946. Price right now trading at 1889. Gold has had a nice day up 34 bucks, trading out at 1793. Silver up 63 pennies trading at 23.15 let's go spend a little time and take a look at our indice charts out there give me a moment to uh, change screens out here in the upper left hand side we're going to see the dow jones which is just trading in a sideways consolidation right now price is sitting on that red oscillator and change line so it's really neutral as we speak and that's at that 34 364 level out here just a sideways consolidation nothing more nothing less s p 500 struggling at its oscillator and change line it really needs to be able to close above that level to suggest higher price that level is 43.66 the NASDAQ 100 has been unable to take out, excuse me, its oscillator and change line. That key level to be watching is at the 14,800 level. The Russell 2000, even though it's above its oscillator and change line, it's really just a sideways-ish move out there. <laughs> Not going to give it a ton of, uh, a ton of uh, focus. The semis, an inside day. So what price did yesterday was it got down and it tested and rejected a swing point from August 19th that did it on lighter volume. But today is just an inside bar. An inside bar typically says that the current trend will continue. So support is held, but the current trend inside the semis are to the downside. The only thing that would change that is the semis closing above 325071. If we take a look at the Dow Jones transports out here, uh, they're going to form bar number seven of a TD9 count, says that a top could form between tomorrow and Tuesday of next week. Spot volatility below that 50-day <laughs> exponential moving average, that's at 1944. A close below that would be a positive for the S&P 500. I guess the uh, Fed's minutes uh, were just released. I can see markets have moved a little bit to the upside out there. The XAU, that's the big powerful move that we're seeing today. Now a close above 128.69 would be a positive. That's its TD9 breakdown resistance level. Bar number seven says if there's gonna be a top or short-term top, that could occur between tomorrow, Thursday, and Monday. Folks, stay tuned. David White with the Power Trading Hours up next. Have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow.